everybody, Cherish the Messy Painter here. Yes, the table is a mess. Please ignore it. I'm going to be doing another light blue painting. I'm having fun uh, swiping with titanium white, Floetrol water, and this. This is Penetrol instead of Floetrol. It's made by Flood, the same company, except this is supposed to go with oil paint. So it acts very similar to Australian Floetrol, which right now I do not have any more of. My Australian Floetrol is very old, so it's extremely thick and I'm pretty sure it's not gonna work. I'd say it's probably a good 18 months old. So I'm gonna use this to swipe with today. I have some leftover paint. I'm using an Amsterdam greenish blue. I'm using Pebeo's iridescent blue green. I'm using some of this ocean green uh, by Master's Touch. I have a little bit of this uh, ready to pour blue gold iridescent. You do not need to add anything to this. It's already pretty thin. If you want to add water, you can, but you don't need to. And um, I even have some of this color shift Aqua Flash by Folk Art. So I'm just going to have fun with this and do some swiping and play around. Uh, my leftover paint is from this previous painting. So I am going to pour this leftover paint that I scraped from the table as my base and then play, play around from there. I have no idea what this is going to look like, don't care, just want to have fun with some paint. Here I go. Okay, before I swipe this, I just want to say a quick thank you to David from um, Left Brain Artist. He comes up with really cool experiments and looks at painting from a different view, um, the left brain, right brain theory. And um, I got this idea about the penetral from him and I just, I love this idea. So here I go. Now, as you can see, I mixed up this, um, this batch a while ago. So what's happening now is my cells are very, very tiny. So I'm not sure if I like that. So I might swipe over it with a fresh batch of the, um, yeah, let me see what happens. I might swipe over this again with a fresher batch of the, um, Penetrol titanium mix because it might now have been mixed so many times that it's just really tiny cells. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so that was a fun experiment. Now let me try this again. I'm gonna mix up, I'm gonna mix up a new batch of the titanium white with the um, Penetrol and see how that works.
she didn't love you back, love you back All she did was leave a hole in your chest You didn't get that job, get that job Even though you really gave it your best And now you're wondering what's the point What's the point of anything at all But let me tell you why, tell you why That's just life putting you through the test before the dawn, it's always dark Before the light, there is a tunnel Before you run, you gotta stumble When you fall in love, but it don't work out When you cry at least a hundred times When you feel so stuck, but you can't get out Just remember You say you're getting old, getting old But what do you know about what's to come? Cause what the future holds, future holds Nobody knows till the race is all won So if you're wondering what's the point What's the point of anything at all? It's to live your life, live your life Live it right now cause you only get All right, I'm done playing around, swiping and, and testing all this stuff out. I'm just gonna tilt it a little bit. Whoop, I don't like that area. That paint is very, um, it was very thin and it's giving me a little bit of a problem. So I'm gonna see if I can cut right through that. Oh wow, I love that area right there. That is so cool. All right, now I'm gonna fix this corner. I'm not crazy about this corner.
Okay, I am done messing with it. I've lost the push pin again, which is just ridiculous. So it's gonna end up drying right there tonight. I really, I love swiping. <laughs> I love using the Penetrol. I love spilling it. Um, I, I am gonna play around with this and do some more. Um, I really enjoyed it. And this corner is really bothering me, so I'm just gonna fix it. I'm just gonna start all over again and fix it right now. Okay, now I like that corner. I actually really like that corner. I like both these corners. I feel like they kind of match each other. Not that I was trying to match anything, but I really like that. All right, I'm gonna torch a little bit and I'm gonna let this dry. I'm not gonna mess with it anymore. I actually really mean that when I say that. Um, I think it evolved into something completely different than what I started with and I love that. Um, this is probably gonna keep changing a little bit. I'm okay with that. I really, I really like doing this. This is a lot of fun. So I wasn't gonna touch it. I just wanna fix that one spot. There we go. All right, now I'm leaving it alone and we'll see what it looks like as it dries. Thank you very much for watching. My gigantic mess. <laughs> this came out awesome. I, I love it. It's I love these colors. I love this part right here. I don't know if you can see it. It just, it looks so, it's just like a sweeping, Sweeping Lagoon or Sweeping Seas. I don't know what I would call it. I love these colors. It, I don't know if it looks completely teal or turquoise in the, in the uh, camera, but it is with this gorgeous dark blue that comes through here. I, I love it. I'm so happy with how this one came out. Um, it is one of those um, paint pour canvases from, from I think it was Michael's. You could see it right here. This is cardboard here, so that way when you pour it, it just really gives a nice solid surface and nothing sinks in. I didn't even have to tighten up the canvas because it was so, it's so nice and hard. So it has at least two layers of varnish on it, my Grumbacher varnish, so it's got a really gorgeous uh, shine. I have like a semi-gloss and then I have a gloss and this one, I use the gloss. So this is just gorgeous. If you have any name ideas for this one, please let me know in the comments below. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.